I'll never get used to this. This isn't surprising since she already said Caitlin Clark was only popular because she's white. Okay, so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. <laughs> I thought Caitlin Clark fans were the ones that were arranged, you know, have racial issues and they're causing all the racial problems in the whole entire big world. Oh, here we go again. So the, the, I said I was done with the WNBA, right? But this really is a bigger issue. What, what, what Asia just said right there. I, I cannot believe what be, what comes out of people's mouths when we talk about privilege, right? And let me say this. I like Asia Wilson. I, I, I like her game. Um, but this is a bad look for her. This is an absolute bad look to go and to insinuate that not only Paige Beckers, but also Kelsey Plum, that your privilege, girl, your privilege, girl, is what got you here. All the work that I put in, all my confidence is built for those moments in the game is on the line when the pressure's on. Here we go. Good pace. Good shot. Staying at school, getting stronger. Um, so I took advantage of it. Everybody saw the world tour. They didn't see the work tour, which is fine. I, they think they see like me three or four hours a day and think they know my ent entire 24 hours, which is cool. It's fine. The work will always show. I, I'm a believer in that. Yeah. I have confidence in that. Not your bio, not your skill set, not your hard work, not your determination, not your focus, right? Not, not the sacrifice, not your suffering that you've gone through. No, no, guys. It's your privilege. It is your privilege. Here's the thing about it. If Asia would have simply said, oh, man, Kelsey, you remind me of Paige. Like, you guys, man, y'all ballers, man. Y'all y'all get a bucket. You guys are buckets. And I love how you use your privilege. See, it wouldn't have been a problem. There would, there would be nothing to see here, guys. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Keep moving. Keep it going. Keep moving along. Nothing to see. But because she said uh, uh, her privilege, oh, and, of course, she's a good player. That is, a, I mean, how, how many different ways can you diss somebody? This is such a dangerous thing, guys, when we want to use privilege. Because every single one of us, in some aspect or another, are privileged. Asia Wilson is more privileged than I am. Why? She got raised by a mom and a dad in the household every day. She has a great support team. Some people can look at that and say, Asia, you had a daddy in the home. That's a privilege. Right? There's, there, and, and this is what I'm saying. Where does it stop? Where does it stop? That's why I never look at people. I never look at athletes or other people like, oh, y'all like that or you got that way because you're privileged. Let me give you a, a sum up of what privilege is to me. Privilege is to me when something is passed down to you that you take for granted or you mismanage or mishandle. That's privilege, right? Well, you got it easy and you don't even recognize you got it easy and you're fumbling the ball. Privilege is not when you're working hard like Kelsey Plum is doing right here. Or Kelsey Plum is doing right here to become the second leading scorer in women's college basketball history. She didn't do that by privilege. She did that by hard work. Right, Asia Wilson? Why I won't say that she's privileged myself? Because I don't know what her parents went through to give her a better life. Right? Somebody sacrificed. And if somebody had to sacrifice, that is not privilege. If you got to sacrifice something, it's not privilege. If you have to give up something, it's not privilege. Don't always look at somebody else's life and say, you got it better than me. You got more than me. Recognize the blessing that God is, has in our lives. Not recognize uh, what God is doing in our lives. Not recognize the roof that we have over our head. The, 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 um, the parents we do have. The support we do have. No, we're blinded by this thing called jealousy. So now you look at somebody else's life and now you say they're privileged. And you don't know what they've been through. What they had to go through to get there. And that's just wrong. It's just wrong. I'm sorry. I, I'm an Asian Wilson fan, but that is flat out wrong to say that about Kelsey Plum, to say it about Paige Beckers, to say it about Caitlin Clark. It is just absolutely wrong. That's why I keep saying again, if you were, if people were to focus on themselves more and who they are in God and what God is trying to do in their lives, you'll have less compromise. You'll, you'll have, you won't be competing with people as much because you'll be going, you'll be going for what God's put in front of you. See, that's the problem. We're not going for what God's put in front of us. We're looking at what this other person has and says, I want that. And God might be like, I don't have that for you, but I'm going to show you what I do have. Oh, you don't want what I have for you? Okay, so you're going to go chase after what they have, and now you're going to be a hater and everything else, right? This is absolutely insane. And then, Oh, yeah, I understand what Asia's saying. Duh, 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 duh. Okay, but like I said, not unless you're really, really, really struggling in life, there is some area of your life where you have privilege over somebody else.
That's what I'm saying. Where does it start and stop, guys? Where does it start and stop? And, and it, it ain't Paige's responsibility. It ain't Kelsey's responsibility. And it's not Caitlin Clark's responsibility to, to, to feed these people over here, over here, over here. A lot of people are saying, well, Paige got up, you know, when she accepted her, you know, SB and said, hey, you know, um, the black women need more media coverage. And I'm thinking to myself, when has the WNBA ever marketed white players over black players until Caitlin Clark? Show me a time in WNBA history where they promoted the, the white player over the black. You got, you got Sue Bird. You got Swain, uh, 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 Becky Hammond. You got, uh, uh, um, I mean, all kinds. Lindsey Whalen. You got Sabrina Inescu now. You got Breonna Stewart. You, Lauren Jackson. It goes on and on and on. It's never happened. Right? Caitlin Clark is on a different level. She is a for real, for real Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Steph Curry, LeBron James superstar. Okay? The WNBA has never given more media coverage or anything like that because they're white players. If you look at the WNBA historically, how many white players have won awards in the WNBA? You know, when we talk about MVP or we talk about uh, uh, Defensive Player of the Year, I think you got Lauren, you got Lauren Jackson, you got uh, Brianna Stewart, uh, Elena Deladon. The WNBA has been promoted and dominated by incredibly uh, 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 beautiful black women like Asia Wilson, like Lisa Leslie, like Maya Moore, like Tina Thompson, like Cynthia Cooper. Like it just goes on. It goes on. Say is again when we're talking about media coverage. I don't. I don't know where Paige is coming from because you show me. You go back. See a lot of people don't go back and look at their history. You show me a time when Maya Moore and Sylvia Fowles and Brian, uh, Brittany Griner and uh, um, who, who's the other one? Candace Parker. When they were dominated in college, you go and show me where the media covered the white players more than they did Candace Parker. The white players more than they did Maya Moore. The white players more. Come, come on, man. It's, it's just not true. Caitlin Clark is coming in like a true superstar. That's why a lot of players don't get it, don't understand it. They hate it because she's the, Caitlin Clark is the first of her kind. She is a LeBron James, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Steph Curry superstar. And she's in the WNBA. And that's what a lot of this is about. Gino to be, uh, you know, I got to go with, when I don't want no scrub, a scrub is a, is a player that can't get no scholarship from me. Like, when is Gino just picking up scrubs and saying, okay, it's your privilege, and then I'm going to go and try to make you a great basketball player, but I picked you b- because of your privilege. No, what Gino does, Gino doesn't go and pick players and think they're going to do it. He knows they're going to do it, and he needs his job, and what he's always done is figured out how to bring that about. He saw it in Paige. He saw it in Maya. He saw it in Tina, right? He saw it in Diana. It was already there. So, so this is what I'm saying. When we're talking about privilege, is, we're, we're all, are all the UConn players privileged? Is that, you know, what we're doing here? Because last time I checked, Gino don't want no scrubs. I'm just saying. I'm just, just, just another perspective as well. My mind, remember what they were saying about Caitlin as far as privilege. You know, pretty, uh, pretty privilege, tall privilege. But what is Asia? Tall privilege, pretty privilege. But again, like I said, I do not believe in any of that stuff. And the Bible says it is not wise to compare yourself to other people. Got it again. Remember what I was saying. It says each, each person should test their own work, 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 right? So when we're looking at work, this is what I said before. How can somebody have privilege if they're putting in work? You see what I'm saying? This is why the Bible be making sense. And y'all don't understand it, but this is why the Bible makes sense sometimes. But it says to put in that each person should test their own work and be happy with doing a good job and not compare themselves with others. You're not going to worry about somebody else's privilege. And that's why I love this scripture. I'll sum it up here. The other reason why I really love this scripture it's because it shows us if everybody's working, there's nobody that has privilege because everybody's working, right? And and to call and sl- and, and to to go and throw privilege, you know, and uh, on somebody before you say they work hard is just flat out wrong. And also, it's insensitive. You don't know what that person has been through, what they've gone through, what they've had to sacrifice. We don't know. You don't know that person's story to put a judgment on them. You know what I'm saying? Not all, but I just, I just want to encourage one of the songs I listen to. This is Jonathan McReynolds, and the name of the song is called Comparison Kills. And I just want to read, because, you know, I can't play the song because YouTube will get you. You know what I'm saying? But I just want to read some of the lyrics real quick. It says, I can only speak for my world, where almost everyone has what they need. Other nations live with sickness, but over here we die from jealousy. Because it makes you chase what's not meant to be chased. Because you possessed it. All along, it comes to steal and hide what is real. Comparison kills. And that is just such a powerful, a a powerful sum up of what it is, right? We, you know, where do you, how do you get to a place of looking at somebody with privilege? Because you're comparing. If you take that comparison out, you take out a lot of stuff. 
hatred, jealousy, racism, all this stuff. All this stuff is, is really wrapped up in comparison. I wanted to say that encourage. Again, this is a very encouraging song. If you have issues in that area, if you recognize you don't value yourself enough, if you don't recognize, you know, the value that God has placed on your life, if you don't recognize the blessings that are in front of you, that are all around you, that you're surrounded by, check this song out. Another one I really love. It says, it's, it says, it's Matthew 5 and 8. It says, blessed are the pure in heart for they, let me see if I, well, I don't know why it's not swiping. It says, um, blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. And why this is so, uh, to me, sums up what I'm talking about is it says the pure in heart, right? If you're having jealousy and envy and different type of things like that, you're not seeing things from a pure heart, right? Hatred, whatever it is, you know, uh, um, compromise, you know, if you're comparing, you know, insecurity, inferiority, if you're, if you're dealing with any of those type of things, you're not seeing things out of a pure heart, right? And so what happens is when you can see things out of a pure heart, you not only see God that way, right? Because it says you shall see God, it says you shall see God, but you will also see people in the way and in the purpose that God made them. So that's the other thing that we got to look at too. This stuff is just so important. Like how you look at other people is a reflection of you. It's a reflection of you. You know what I'm saying? And so that's why, that's why I, I, I had to speak on this because a lot of people are like, no, Asia, you don't get it. And it's like, no, you don't get it. You don't get it. That we're all made in the image of God. Like God, like you're not an accident. You weren't an oopsie. You know, you're, you're not here wandering around with no purpose. God has, if you still have breath in your lungs, God still has a purpose and a plan for you. And trust me, I got to remind myself of this because we have all these distractions. And when you have, we have all these things that are working against us to, to stand, you know, staunch in those things and who we are and who God's called us to be and, you know, and what he's called us to do, right? And what he's, what he's called us to conquer, uh, all these circumstances, trust me, I know myself, like, man, I've been calling out to the name of the Lord, Lord, help me. But all these circumstances and all these things come your way to push you off that, off that guard. And, and then it, you, and once you're pushed off it, you're pushed into all these other things. Like I said, hatred, jealousy, racism, you're, all those type of things. And God never, God never made us to compete against each other in, in any type of way when it deals with the identity of who we are. We were never supposed to compete. We were never supposed to compare. Be blessed. Oh,